CEO Ronathan from Creative Difference. I want to talk to you a little bit about playing the lane differently. You know, we hear a lot of times bowlers say that they're playing parallel or they're playing perpendicular or they're two and one or three and five, but what does all that really mean? So we're going to talk a little bit about what that looks like and we're going to start by kind of explaining why it's important uh, to even have those kind of adjustments in bowling. So one of the things I want to show you is the lane pattern. So we're going to actually show you what the lane pattern looks like that we're bowling on. This is a standard house shot. So we're going to start by just showing you that. And I'm going to have Dustin throw several shots. And we're going to look at his feet. We're going to look at the line he's playing. And we're going to watch to kind of see exactly what is going on. So we're going to first start out uh, by having him play whatever his most comfortable line is. And we'll just have him throw a shot. And we'll look at the shot. That looked a lot, but that's okay. We'll just use that. And we're going to let the shot stay there, right? So now, he went Brooklyn, right? So, Dustin, uh, if you were going to make an adjustment, what kind of adjustment would you make with your feet? And what kind of adjustment would you make with your target? I would be making at least a 4-2, and two, if not a 6-3. and three. That hooked a lot. So, when I see something like that, I'm definitely going to make a pretty big jump to the left. Now, you said pretty big jump to the left. So that means you're going to go, which one, four and two or, or six and I'll three? I'll go six and three. So he's going to go six boards to the left with his feet, and you're going to go three boards to the left with your target. Yeah. So he made the move, and you can see the result. So that is a good way for you to be able to understand a little bit about moving and a little bit about targeting. So let me show you something that's interesting, right? So that move that he made actually allowed him to get the bowling ball to about the same break point, but be able to get a lot more of the proper shape and ball motion getting into the pocket. So look, down here, the balls are virtually on top of each other. Those two shots are virtually on top of each other. But obviously, one struck and one didn't. So what that means is, not only is it important to get your bowling ball to the appropriate break point, but the angle that you take to get to that break point also matters. So we're being able to show you that difference. And remember, he said he was going to move six boards uh, with his feet. And by doing that, that allowed him to be able to get his bowling ball to the pocket. So if you have more questions like this content, please uh, think about subscribing to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, continue to receive information from us like this. You will continue to see more videos that are set up to help you become a better bowler. On behalf of Dustin Zander, I am CEO, running for Creative Difference. Talk to you soon.